anti-American NFL just received mega blow they can't recover from that'll change league forever. The NFL just suffered a mega monetary loss when another advertiser pulled out and stopped spending their money with the league full of overpaid athletes who protest the American flag. This is just another buyer who doesn't agree with the disrespectful protests of the national anthem and American flag. This is one more sponsor to add to the list of many, all thanks to the onslaught of absurd protests that the majority of fans aren't interested in seeing. Most people don't want politics in their entertainment. Most people don't want veterans in America disrespected by entitled athletes who are just seeking attention. Without much hesitation, and after discussing matters on their own, a New Jersey-based mega car dealership, Flemington Car and Truck Country, has yanked their remaining ads away from the NFL broadcasts for the remainder of the NFL's 2017 football season. It's not much of a shock because football fans and most Americans are tired of the senseless protests. The fans have begun booing the players who protest by disrespecting the flag and the country. Why would a car dealership want to support a protest that disrespects the very basis for which the owner has been able to succeed in our great country? Steve Colfer, the owner of the car dealership, was not happy about the protests. He spoke to his cohorts and they expressed their unwilling desire to watch such entitled nonsense happen during entertainment that we pay for. The National Football League and its owners have shown their fans and marketing partners that they do not have a comprehensive policy to ensure that players stand and show respect for America and our flag during the playing of the national anthem, Steve Colifer said in a statement. We have cancelled all of our NFL advertising on the Optimum and Infinity, cable, networks. Football is entertainment. We, the fans, pay for entertainment. We won't spend money on entertainment we don't like. The NFL ratings have reportedly dipped and the league is going to either be changed forever or go broke. The league will become a platform for social justice allowing the weekly citizens to utilize their job as a means of protest. If that happens, then players can expect to perform in front of empty arenas. If that happens, then players will lose a big part of their salary because teams won't be able to afford their contract requirements in regards to player payment. If that happens, then your Sunday quarterback will end up getting a part-time job at Costco where Hillary Clinton signs autographs next to toilet paper. As the NFL parses the important nationwide issues of social justice and freedom of speech, it is clear that a firm direction by them is not forthcoming, Colifer said in the statement. The league better act quick before they get the same viewership as women's basketball, which is probably countable on a few hands. Do the athletes want to be millionaires or do they want to risk losing their league forever in the name of being a social justice warrior? This NFL season is a lot different than previous seasons. We're used to smash mouth football, competitive games, and talking trash to fans of opposing teams. Now we're all booing everyone talking about how much we dislike the league, and we've lost interest in the greatest sport on the planet. How did football go from such a plateau being untouchable to being unwatchable? Why would blue-collar fans want to be dissed by some overpaid athletes who couldn't tell you what a day of oppression is like when they're spending their millions? It's like our NFL players all turned into a bunch of Bernie Sanders wannabes with their social justice nonsense. These guys have bank accounts bigger than the numbers across the calculator on my watch, but they want to act like they're pressed. A guy who earns more in a month than most of us do in a few years wants to act like he's a victim and he's speaking up for racial injustice? Racial injustice hasn't been a thing since Donald Trump gained traction in the election and defeated Hillary Clinton. There weren't really any racial issues while Obama was president. The reason for that is because Republicans took their loss and respected it. They dealt with it for eight years. Republicans trashed Obama, because it was rather easy to do that at times, and that's completely normal. However, the Republicans weren't trashing neighborhoods or doing crazy things like spending 10 months trying to impeach someone who hasn't committed an impeachable offense. Then someone who isn't a Democrat wins an election and all of a sudden there are a million and five social justice issues that come out of thin air. It's all fake news. Racial injustice is fake news perpetrated by leftists. 
It's a collective of ideas reignited by the leftists who are so mad about Hillary losing that they're willing to spark a possible civil war, stir up a pot of racism that was previously resting fine, and essentially make a mockery of the entire leftist movement. The NFL players protesting the flag are embarrassing to America. The team owners who don't take a stand will soon lose enough money that they're forced to react and cut the cheese on the nonsense. Protesting the flag is just as silly as the entire women's march. Any NFL player who protests the national anthem doesn't need a woman's march costume to look like a six-foot vagina. Join the Support Our Vets, boycott the NFL and their sponsors' Facebook page by liking it. it.